you're treated to first-class details everywhere you look, as long as you're upfront quality. It's just about all your comfort? Well, for two the BMW 6 Series XLs just don't sit in the back seat we've given the BMW 6 Series a mark above average for the way it coddles front seat passengers, but we can't quite award more because it stops slightly short of feeling as special inside as some rivals coupes and convertibles deliver plenty of space up front for just about anyone. There's a plethora of seating adjustments even on base models, with way more adjustability a mere option package away, and the M package's sports seats are lighter but more supportive for corner carving predictably, the rear seat and two doors is tight, but what might surprise first-time drivers and passengers is just how much they need to duck their heads to slide aboard the BMW 6 Series roofline is dramatic, which also means that it's quite low the same holds true for the Grand Coupe. It mirrors the two doors up front. Where the Grand Coupe stands apart, however, is in the way it comforts rear seat passengers there's not an excess of space, but average size adults sitting in the mandatory outboard positions have decent leg, hip and shoulder room. But again not a lot of headspace then again, most buyers should know what they're getting into with these cars. After all, the 6 Series is rarely the only car in an owner's household. There's probably something far more practical available when such needs arise and perhaps we should be happy that there's more day-to-day -day usefulness for passengers and their gear here than in a Porsche 911. The BMW snug interior is nearly exotic with an intriguing design and attractive and interesting materials throughout but it lacks a certain amount of flair and personality, coming across a little staid even after a run through the myriad available trims and decors on the options list but then again, there's no discounting the convertible's appeal. Its fabric roof makes for terrific packaging when it's stowed away it rises to the occasion or hides away in just 20 seconds at speeds up to 25 miles per hour and its rear glass window opens for more ventilation on extra hot or slightly too chilly days, a nice touch that's rare on drift tops these days.